Hello YouTube and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my Wii collection and uh, yeah unfortunately this is the second time I've had to film this for a bunch of reasons uh, so I'm going to try and fire off some of these as fast as I can and yeah so the Wii is an interesting system I have a ton of games for it and these first ones I just got today and yesterday respectively so I haven't had time to go through and play them yet so I'm just going to go through them real quick we have Broken Sword uh, Shadow of the Templars I heard this was pretty good uh, kind of interested to try it it's a point-and-click adventure game so that's pretty neat not really a genre I'm fond of, fond of but uh, you know pretty cool bus to move universe I like bus to move and I saw this and GameStop's doing a four for ten dollars thing so pretty cool to pick that up adventures of Tintin I've heard that this is a pretty good little game so another one for the four for ten deal that I picked up myth makers Trixie's Toyland uh, sometimes I'll buy a game knowing it's bad and I feel like this is one of those uh, yeah so you know Alone in the Dark, another one that I bought kind of knowing it's bad. Uh, you know, I like games that are just so bad they're good. Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon. Uh, this is like mi Mystery Dungeon with Final Fantasy. Uh, pretty cool little idea. I haven't tried it yet. It looked cool though. Obscure the Aftermath, I don't really know much about this, you know, GameStop doing a deal helped me pick that one up, and then the last game I got today was Dragon Quest Swords, uh, yeah, this was like, I remember this is like an RPG where you like move with the Wemo, like you attack some lashing and stuff like that, it's, it's definitely a cool concept, I played it like one time really long ago, that I sold it right after I got it for whatever reason. Uh, so I definitely want to play this again. I remember really liking it, actually. So yeah, just going into the Wii games themselves. Uh, we have Heavenly Guardian. This is a soul sequel to Pocky and Rocky. It's a pretty decent little game. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. The Munchables, I really like this. This is like if, uh, this is like Cubivore on the GameCube. This is like a sequel to that because you just like eat things and make your monster stronger and better. I definitely really enjoy that game. Uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is probably my second favorite Zelda game behind uh, Ocarina of Time. Uh, yeah, I really love this game, honestly. I feel like I'm the only one who likes that game sometimes. Uh, let's tap. This is a really interesting game because you like put the Wiimote on a cardboard box and then like tap it and that moves your character. Really interesting. Uh, not really something I'm fond of, but a uh, really interesting game, honestly. Wii Sports Resort. Uh, the original Wii Sports is like a tech demo for the Wii. This is like a full-fledged game and it's actually... <laughs> It's actually really fun. I, I really like Wii Sports Resort. Really fun game. Quinoa. Uh, I love Quinoa. It's one of my favorite video game series. This is a, such a spectacular remake of the original. Uh, yeah, I love this game. Elevits. This was an early Wii game. I actually like it. Uh, you kind of just like destroy things. It's kind of mindless fun, but... Uh, it's pretty fun, I liked it. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World. I haven't actually tried this yet because uh, I haven't beaten the first Tales of Symphonia, and this is a sequel to that. Or at least that's my understanding. Tony Hawk Downhill Dram. This is a early Wii game that got good reviews and it has not aged well. <laughs> we will leave it at that. Alright, moving on to the next stack of games. We have Boston Blue. 
I played this for like an hour and I just don't remember much about it. I should probably give it another go because I remember liking it, but I don't remember much else about it. MLB Power Pros, this is actually a pretty fun little baseball game. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is actually like really fun. I, I really enjoyed it, honestly. Baroque. This is like an action RPG. I couldn't get into it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll have to uh, check that one out again. Battalion Wars 2. This is a pretty, this is a pretty awesome game. Really hard, from what I remember. But uh, I really enjoy these Battalion War games. I kind of wish Nintendo would go back to that series and make like a new one or something. Furu Furu Park. This is a... This is a... God, how do you describe this? It's a mini game compilation, but it has like characters from Natsume games. Like it has... Uh, it has uh, Pocky and Rocky and uh, Bubble Bobble, stuff like that. It, it's okay, but uh, mini game compilations aren't my thing, really. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Awesome. I think that this is overall my favorite Wii game. Uh, yeah, this is an awesome game, honestly. I, I love that game. Oh, cool. The first light gun Wii game is Dead Space Extraction. These games are awesome on the Wii, honestly. These light gun games. Uh, and I think this is my favorite one. It's definitely the one I enjoyed the most. Uh, yeah, this is a really good game. I'd check it out. Epic Mickey. This is a weird game because I was really excited for this when it came out. And then it came out and it got like bad reviews. So I waited to check it out. And I'm glad I did check it out because I really like it. It has a really bad camera, but I really enjoy this game. Uh, the main thing that I love about it is the like graphical style. Mad World. This is probably the most violent Wii game, or one of the most violent Wii games. <laughs> uh, definitely something that doesn't fit the typical uh, Nintendo MO. Pretty fun game though. Really, really tough bosses in this, from what I remember. Uh, my only issue with this is that, like, to kill the bosses, you had to, like, shake the Wii modes, and that just wasn't... It took me out of the experience a little bit, honestly. Alright, another stack of Wii games. We got Marble Saga Koro Inpa. Awesome game. Uh, let's see. This is, like, really interesting and really unique. I think it uses the Wii mode. I think it uses it the best it's ever been used, honestly. Uh, yeah, just awesome game. Love this game. Whoa, dropping stuff, you guys. Awesome. Spy boards. This is like a beat em up. Uh, it was made by Capcom. I don't remember much about it. Uh, yeah, maybe I should pop that one back in someday. Secret Saturday's Beasts of the Fifth Sun. Um, this is a pretty fun little action game. Uh, yeah, not bad. Not a bad license game, actually. Bit Trip Complete. This is weird because the only games that I, the only Bit Trip games that I really like are uh, Bit Trip Runner and Bit Trip Flux. I think were the ones. Uh, so I didn't enjoy this that much, excluding those two games. But uh, the the one really cool thing is that this game has the soundtrack with it and. The Bit Trick games have really good music, so that was pretty cool. Mushroom Men Rise of, or no, the Spore Wars. This is a B-grade platformer. Not really much else I can say about it. It's a B-grade platformer, which means it's pretty okay. Castlevania Judgment. This is one of those games that, like, critics destroyed. And if you play it with the Weebo, or Wii Controller, or whatever, you know, they're right, but if you just play it with, like, the GameCube controller or the Wii Classic controller or whatever, it's actually really fun. Uh, I really enjoyed this. This is like this is like a modern take on Power Stone, I suppose. Ghost Squad, another Wii Zapper game, or Light Gun game or whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, pretty fun game. I don't remember... This might be the most forgettable one for me, honestly. Oh, here we go. Endless Ocean. 
The Endless Ocean games on the Wii are something special because they're some of the very few games where you just do nothing, but it is just so relaxing and so satisfying to play. I don't know, I don't know how to describe these games besides they're like screensavers, but they're a lot of fun. Uh, Drawn to Life, the next chapter. I really like this game. Uh, it, it's kind of like Scribble Knots, but uh, before Scribble Knots, of course. Uh, I really like this game, honestly. Uh, a little easy, but very enjo enjoyable. Dead Rising Chop Till You Drop. A lot of people don't know this, but there is a Dead Rising game on the Wii. The reason why they don't know it is because it's not that good of a game, honestly. It's. Eh. Spectrobe's Origins. This is actually a really fun game. Uh, I really like this. Yeah, yeah, great game. Ah, uh, super cheap, too. Check it out. Dewey's Adventure. I didn't like this one that much, honestly. Uh, it's a platformer where everything is built based around tilting the world. Uh, it just didn't work for me, honestly. Uh, 3D... Attack of the 3D movies, my bad. Uh, this is another Wii light gun game, and it's actually really fun. Uh, I really enjoy it. De Blob. I love the Blob, or the, the Blob series, or whatever. They're just really, you know, like, simplistic platformers. Simplistic might be a, the wrong term for it, but they're just really, like, easy to pick up and play. Awesome games. Just I don't I don't I can't think of anything else besides they're just awesome. I'd check them out honestly. They're a great time. Monster Lab. Uh, I, this is this kind of interesting. Uh, super budget game. Not bad for what it is. Like super budget, super cheap game, but not not bad. I've played far worse budget games. Samba de Amigo. This is probably the most like makes sense concept on the Wii for me because you just like shake both uh, the Wii modes to act as the uh, act as the maracas and it's actually pretty fun for what it is uh, never like never pretty decent little game I recommend checking out Domino Rally this is the sole sequel to no one can stop Mr. Domino not as good as that game but uh, it's you know it's its own it's okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. I didn't like it as much as No One Can Stop Mr. Domino, honestly. Alright. Zack and Wiki. Another, like, point-and-click game on the Wii. And, uh, I don't like point-and-click games, so I feel like this kind of, kind of, like, fell on deaf ears for me. But I did like the charm behind this game. It had a lot of charm. Lost in Shadows. This is a great 2D platformer. Uh, spectacular graphics. Really interesting, like, concept or design. Executed very well. Uh, awesome game, you guys. Definitely check this out. This is actually interesting because this was the last game. I don't know if you guys will, you will make that out, but it was the last game developed by Hudson Soft. Wii Music. Not that bad. Just really boring. I've got much else to say besides it's boring. Endless Ocean Blue World, this is the sequel to Endless Ocean. Uh, another game that, like, I just can't really describe that well, you guys. It's just, like, it's kind of like Harvest Moon, in the sense that you just kind of put it on and do nothing while you play it. Uh, the Blob 2, another one I really like. Uh, this one's kind of different from the first The Blob, but, you know, in a good way. Uh, yeah, another really fun one. Wii has so many, like, fun games. Counter Force. I don't remember anything about this, so for all I know, it could be awful. Yeah. Metroid Over M. Uh, this, this is probably, this will probably be one of the more, my more controversial opinions. I love this game. Really like it. Uh, you know, a lot of Metroid fans hate it. I really enjoy it. Uh, yeah, one of my favorite Metroids, honestly. No More Heroes. I don't remember if I liked this or not. 
which is actually probably a bad sign. But, uh, okay, uh, I, I remember kind of liking it, I think. I don't know. I need to try that again. The Core Gang, Outvasion from Inner Earth. This is a 2D, a 2D, a B-grade platformer. Uh, pretty decent one, though. Uh, this was actually designed for the Xbox, and then was released on the Wii. Uh, pretty good, though. I, I would check it out. Blastworks Build, Trade, Destroy. This is one of my favorite Wii games, honestly. Uh, you know, it's a shoot 'em up where you get to, where you get to pick up other parts from ships that you blow up. And it's really interesting. It's really unique. And then on top of that, it has a stage customization game. And I think you can still like, I think you can still uh, input other stages on this game. Uh, yeah, this is this is definitely one to check out, you guys. Definitely a hidden gem of sorts on the Wii. Prince of Persia: The Forgotten Sands. This is a pretty good game, and uh, the reason why I picked this up, though, is it has the original Prince of Persia on it, and I wanted to play that, and the original Prince of Persia is okay. It's like the first cinematic platformer. So, yeah. <laughs> a Boy in His Blob. I love this game. Like, I love the art style, I love the music. I love this game. It's an awesome game. Sam and Max Season 1. Uh, I never like point and click game. I don't like point and clicks, so not really my thing. Uh, but yeah, yeah, not really my thing. Kind of cool though. Geometry Wars Galaxies. Really cool, like, shoot 'em up where it's kind of like asteroids but with res style graphics. Really interesting. Uh, I would check it out. SSX Explorer. I didn't like it, mostly because you have to use like motion controls for everything. This is, it's something that was like impressive a long time ago, but nowadays not really. Destroy All Humans. Uh, this is a good version of this game. Uh, yeah, I like Destroy All Humans. Uh, pretty cool game, series or game. Uh, Sin and Punishment Star Successor. This is actually a really weird game because I played this a long time ago with my buddy Silver Bullet Bill 21. Uh, and we played the multiplayer. I remember hating the multiplayer. Like, I thought it was so boring. And then I got it. I finally got it again. Start playing it. It's awesome. This game rules, honestly. Uh, it's weird. It's like one of the biggest 180s I've ever had with a game. I guess it's just like the multiplayer isn't that great. Excite Truck. I had Excite Bots at one point, but I actually got rid of that uh, because I remember not liking it that much. Uh, I do really enjoy this. I don't know what it was, but I just did not like Excite Bots. How's the Dead Overkill? This is another uh, Zapper light gun game, whatever, on the Wii. I think this is the one that has the most swearing of any game of all time, which is kind of crazy that this is a Wii game. Uh, but this is a really fun game. Uh, I really liked it. War Master the Demon Blade. This game is spectacular. Uh, for lack of a better term, this game is awesome. Uh, incredible visuals, great soundtrack. Just an awesome game all around. Uh, the only thing is, is I would say the best version of this is actually the Vita version. Because on the Vita, you get to take it wherever you go. How's the Dead 2 and 3? This is actually kind of a disappointing one because uh, House of the Dead 3 has a lot of glitches. Oh snap, my camera. Hey YouTube, uh, sorry about the cut right there. Um, but yeah, so like I was saying, this is actually kind of a disappointing one because House of the Dead 3 has glitches on it, unfortunately. But uh, overall, it's still, they're still pretty decent ports, I suppose. Flame Smash, this is, I remember nothing about it, honestly. Sega Bass Fishing, this is a port, or a re-version, or something like that, of Sega Bass Fishing from the Dreamcast, uh, which is actually a really fun arcade-style game. 
This is pretty fun too. Sonic Colors. Awesome. Uh, you know, just awesome game. A uh, ton of fun. Great levels. Uh, my favorite is like the one that's made of food. And one thing I absolutely love, the opening theme song to this. Uh, yeah, Sonic Colors is a great game, you guys. Check it out if you have a Wii. I don't even really like Sonic that much, but I do enjoy that game. Batman the Brave and the Bold, the video game. I've never watched this show before, honestly, but this is actually a pretty good game. Uh, it's a 2D style beat em up where you, uh, let's see, it's a 2D beat em up, but my, but like my one complaint with it is that it's like pretty dang easy. Uh, but, but aside from that though, it, it's pretty good. Um, yeah. Alright, the last couple games, you guys, we have Oreo Land Shake It. A pretty awesome 2D platformer. There are so many just ga games on the Wii that are just awesome. You know, it's weird. I just now started to think of that. Wii collecting still hasn't taken off, you guys. So you can get a lot of these for pretty cheap, too, still. Which is pretty great. Rune Factory, uh, Tides of Destiny. Rune Factory is a series I love. Like, I love the Rune Factory games. 4 is my favorite. Uh, 4 is the one on 3DS for you guys who don't know, but that's a se it's a series that works better on the on portables than it does on, uh, you know, like on a TV or a home console, but this is a, this is a very good game. I would, I would check it out, especially if you can find it for cheap. Night's Journey of Dreams. This is, this is a weird game because it's kind of a, like, forbidden fruit type of game. Like, it's a game that a lot of people don't like, but I really like. Uh, another one of those games on the Wii. Like, there are so many games on the Wii that people don't like that I like. Uh, but the big thing, the big compliment I have to give this game is that you can just go back and replay your favorite stages, which is pretty awesome. Uh, I wish more games did that. Kirby Dream Collection. Uh, this is a fantastic compilation of six of the best Kirby games. Um, yeah, this is just awesome to have, honestly. Uh, I like Kirby quite a bit, so that is quite a nice thing. And my last game, Super Mario Galaxy. Some people really adore this game and say it's like the best Mario. I am not in that camp. Uh, my favorite Mario has always been Super Mario Sunshine, honestly. This is a very good game. I don't think it's as spectacular as people say, but I think it's very good. I would check it out. Definitely check this one out. So, that was my Wii collection, you guys. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe down below. Be sure to comment. Be sure to like the video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. And be sure to click one of the annotations to the right. Have a wonderful day, YouTube, and peace.